My name is Margaret. I have been asked to do a video about prayer. So prayer during lockdown has changed my life dramatically. It hasn't been easy um, praying, but I have this, um, this desire to move on with the Lord and to join in with the prayer uh, at nine o'clock in the mornings on Zoom. And then also we did uh, Thy Kingdom Come and we did the prayer at six o'clock in the evening for 10 minutes. I also then did a Zoom on a Wednesday uh, with some other friends and we've had answers to prayer that way. Prayer affected me. It's affected me in the fact that I created a video and I was able to put on the armour of God. So therefore we put on the helmet of salvation, we put on the breastplate of righteousness, we put on the belt of truth, we put on the shoes of readiness and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God but also the shield of faith. I created this video to show other people that we, we can put on the armour of God every day and that way we are in a battle. Do I have any advice for people who want to try and pray we've got no time? Yes, you have to make time and regularly because things have changed for all of us, prayer has been the most vibrant time for me and I've grown more as a adult in prayer and I'm more aware of things that go on in people's lives. We've seen answer to prayer, we've seen um, healing of prayer, we've seen people who have um, had, um, who wanted to join the Navy for instance. He did it all himself, we prayed for him and now he's passed out and now he's training. We've prayed for people who have been ill. Um, they've been healed of their diseases and sickness. We've prayed for uh, people for all sorts of things, just the tiny things. We prayed the other day for somebody who was moving house and we had to then sort out the finances and all sorts of stuff, but the little things. God is interested in the tiny things in life and also the big things in life. So if you don't have time for prayer, make time. Join us at nine o'clock of the morning on Zoom. Join us at six o'clock in the evening where we do in the Psalms. And if you're in your groups, join the prayer there. Thank you very much for listening. We asked Margaret to talk about prayer because it really is one of the core practices of discipleship. It's how we draw close to God day by day, moment by moment. It's how we connect to his power to change us. Hopefully you've been inspired by Margaret's words and her challenge to find time to pray. Prayer is something that I always feel I can do better at and it's something that we as a church want to get better at. So that's why we're going to be running the prayer course this autumn on Tuesdays, starting from September the 28th. We're hoping that all small groups can attend, and of course, everyone who's not yet in a small group. The course is based on Pete Gregg's great book, How to Pray, and I'm convinced it's got something to offer all of us, no matter how much of a prayer master we may already be. So please check it out and sign up on the church website. God bless.